Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use icofonts in your project. However, I also want to combine this with us fixing a few things that we forgot to add in the database. For example, if I go back to our project in the tables, I want now to see which user created the category. So I'm going to go to our categories table. And then I can add a foreign key of which user has created the category or which user has uploaded the image or the files. For example, I'm going to go to the image files. Then one, I can add a foreign key. The other way, I may choose to just uh, create uh, an integer type. So let's see both. Of course, we're going to begin with the foreign key. In the old fashioned way, we used to write that we needed a table and which table is going to have an integer, which integer will be, for example, um uploading user i'm just um uploading user and then you set it to uns unsigned unsigned and then come on the <laughs> on the line below and then do a table and now give it a foreign which foreign is the same for example unsigned user and then you choose that it references references Okay, the cursor was references an ID field on the table on, let's say, users, if the table is users. Okay. And this is still valid, but now the new fashioned way. I'll just comment this and then talk of the new fashioned way. I don't want this video to be so long. So the new fashioned way, okay, we just do all that once. Okay. For example, I'll do that. I'm going to create a table. Okay. And it will have a foreign ID. Foreign. Foreign ID, which foreign ID, for example, is going to be uploading user. And then it will be constrained to the user's table. Constrained to the user's table. And then that is it. However, what I usually do, well, we can do it like that. But I also want now, and not to constrain this time around, but I want the categories. I'm going to choose, uh, okay, I'm, doing, I'm going to create another table. And then it's going to take in an integer. Which integer will be? Uh, file category, file category, and then the diff, the um, it will be nullable. Okay, nullable. So even if someone does not choose a category, it will be good to go. For example, I can make them uncategorized, and I determine if 
the field is nullable, it is uncategorized. That is one. Secondly, I also want to include the file type, which will be a string. So I'm going to do another, which is going to be table. Okay, not that. Table. And then the file type, which is going to be, sorry, uh, it's going to be a string. I just want them to be MP3 or something of the sort. And then I'll choose file type. I can have this automatically included, but I'm going to also to make it nullable. 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 Just like that. So this file type can be uh, taken automatically at the time of upload. Okay? You take off the extension. So it, it might be file type or file extension. Okay? File extension. Mm, MP3, MP4. Let me make it file extension. Okay. Or file type. Mm, file extension will be MP3, MP4, but file type is audio, video, and things of the sort, I think. I think let me keep it on file type, and I'll comment here that this is audio, video, video, uh, document. So it will be different from, okay, um, the file extension differs from file extension. Uh, this comment helps me not forget. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is bring back our terminal and then I close this. Okay, control C because I'm going to migrate again. The other thing I want to do is bring back my Uh, PHP my admin. So I'm going to log in. One, two, three, four. And then this is what you do in case you want to just migrate the table again. For example, I've improved on the table of image files. I've called it image files, but it will carry all files, I think. Image files. So I'm going to go to migration the table migrations, and then look for image files, and I delete it. Press OK. Then I go to the database itself, ugstockdb, and then delete the table again, image files. So the other one, I was deleting it from migrations. This one, I'm deleting it from image files. So I'll drop it. Great, so I'm going to run PHP Artisan Migrate again. So PHP Artisan Migrate. And then it is going to create the table again for me. Well, let's refresh. And then we have our table image file. And then we can see we have image ID, image title visible, file category, file type.